How you doing? This is George Senna, and I'm back once again to talk about the debacle that is Art Bell quitting Midnight in the Desert. And you know, listening to Art Bell and wondering what's going on, what's he going to do next, always reminds me of this scene from the television series, The Fugitive, with David Jensen and Barry Morse. And there you can see Jansen looking out the window, pondering his fate as Dr. Richard Kimball, and suddenly the train that's taking him to death row state prison derails. <laughs> and Barry Morris could be the Art Bell listener caught in all this. And David Jansen could be Art Bell running away from the disaster. And instead of searching for the one-armed man, Art Bell can be searching for the one-armed shooter that some say may or may not exist. So we'll shut that off. But it never, it never stops with Art. Now, my girlfriend asked me what was his astrological sign. I said, Gemini. She said, well, that means they'll be very good with computers, very good with the media, but they're flakes. You never know what they're going to do. And that's Art Bell. And then the other thing, <clears throat> I said in the video, making light of redacted Heather, that she would force Art Bell out of the broadcasting chair. In a sense, she did. I'm not picking on her right now. But it was announced by Art Bell. She's now the permanent host of Midnight in the Desert. And so you have questions here. People paid money to listen to Art Bell. They didn't pay money to listen to Redacted, Heather, whatever name you want to call her by. Uh, radio stations signed contracts and agreements with Art Bell to provide content, Midnight in the Desert. Now it was set on Bell Gab that will they sue Art Bell for not providing this content or is the content just for the show Midnight in the Desert without Art Bell? He just was providing Midnight in the Desert. So, there are people who paid for Art Bell that aren't going to get Art Bell. They're ticked off. There are people that had faith in Art Bell and once again he quit. They're ticked off. There are people talking about gardening on the Art Bell uh, thread in Bell Gab. They're talking about playing football. They're so disgusted they'll do anything rather than think about Art Bell right now. And I really wonder, Art has contacts in law enforcement. Art has contacts in government. Why didn't the man for once, and this is the problem, he never does this. He's like Chicken Little. He has a problem. Instead of going from A to B to C, he goes from A to C, and B is what he should be doing, saying, if I do this, what are the ramifications of it, and what alternatives do I have to doing this, i.e. quitting? He just goes and quits. No warning, no announcement, no nothing. He announces when he's going to quit. But there were alternatives to quitting. He could have armed security brought in. He could have police brought in, off-duty police. He could have people looking for the shooter and the guy get, leaving him death threats and the shooter that shot at, shot at his house apparently in October. But rather than do that, he took the, the cowardly way out and I'm not saying he's a coward. He quit. And leaving everybody holding the bag. Financially, spiritually, and otherwise. Some have said Art Bell is a serial quitter. I'm not going to be that mean. But he quits. He's back. Serious people can hear the show. One guy said he did. He had uh, no problem hearing the show. Well, I'm sorry, guy. You posted my YouTube channel. 
I had problems. The Sinatra Network kept dropping out. The uh, Movie Theme Network kept dropping out. <laughs> I listened to NASCAR one night. It dropped out. I constantly had problems with Sirius XM. So did a lot of other people. That's why Art quit. But he had alternatives of quitting with that, too. He could have gone to the President Network and say, fix this. You're paying me good money to do this. Fix it and get it working. He didn't do that. Instead, he said, I quit, and then waited for them to reply. They took a, a, you know, a couple days a week and basically told Art to take a flying, you know what? So now we're not going to have Art Bell. After all the hoopla, we had all that hoopla with... Uh, Dark matter. We had all the hoopla at midnight in the desert. Now we got nowhere in the desert. Everybody knows where Bell is, but there's nothing broadcasting. Maybe his ham radio is. I don't know. Artist said he'll be a guest host in his own show. What's the point? We don't want you to hear him be a guest host. You're a guest host on Coast to Coast. You, you quit that after two years. And I am not picking on Heather... I personally, from what I've heard, people said she was good. People said she was terrible. People said she didn't announce even her name for the first half an hour of the show. Some, some people told me they couldn't even listen after a few minutes. They gave up. I didn't hear it. So my opinion, I, I'm not going to give an opinion on how, what her conduct was or what her performance was. I, I sent her a note wishing her well. Because you can't, it's hard to follow a legend if you've never done anything like this at the last moment. I think Art Bell's credibility is less than zero right now. People are tired of getting burned. I have great respect for the man. I have great respect for what he's done in radio. And he produced the best damn radio show ever. But, you know. Dead air is dead air. Air without Art Bell is dead air. And guest host, uh, Heather, somebody else, it ain't Art. And that's what people pay and that's what people were clamoring for. They waited months for Art to come back. They waited two years for Art to come back this time. And he stayed, what, eight weeks, two months? I don't know. So that's what I'm going to say about it. I, I, You know, and one other thing, I started... I saw a post on Belgab, and there were two posts, actually, and I laughed at both of them, because they, that was the only humorous thing about this whole event. Someone said, is it too late to start ArtBellSucks.com? And somebody said they bought that website name. They were willing to auction it off, and I had to laugh at that. And then somebody said, is it too late to start a thread, Heather Sucks? Now, I wasn't being mean-spirited, but I said, you know, they criticized me for doing an Art Bell and Redacted video that was removed from YouTube when it never should have been removed because people totally misunderstood what I was doing in the video. I was making fun of Redacted and saying she was unprepared to be a guest host or a co-host. And I got raked over the coals and, and called every filthy name in the book you can think of. And the video was removed. I don't even have a copy of it. And there's no way I can recreate that video because it all came extra uh, out of my brain. I can't say that word extemporously or something like that. But I said in the video she was going to force Art out of the chair. Art has been forced out of the chair because of circumstances. Some believe there is no shooting. I got a comment from a guy. I put it on the channel for discussion's sake. I know the shooting didn't happen. It's all a lie, and I have proof. Now, how the hell this guy has proof? Who knows? But some don't believe there was a shooting at all. It's all been made up by Art, too. For whatever reason Art would have to make it up, I think it's a silly and presumptive thing to say. Art Bell's not going to make a shooting up with his kid cowering in the corner in fear. At least I don't think he would. But I don't know Art Bell personally. I've talked to him on the phone. I've interacted with the emails. I'd love to meet him in person. But quitting, once again, is not the way Art Bell should have handled it. And that's the last I'll say in this matter, unless something else comes up. Okay, 
Have a good day. Stay warm, dry, and safe out there. And I don't know what gonna, people are going to do come Monday. Listen to Heather or uh, replay NFL football or uh, play on their game machines because Monday, there, unless something changes, there won't be Art Bell. And that's very sad for both the listener, the radio audience, and the radio broadcasting industry. A legend goes down in flames again when he could have stayed on, taken a few days off to resolve this situation, to track the shooter or shooters or perpetrators of the death threats down with law enforcement and other means, and he chose the wrong way out. All right, catch you next time. Bye-bye.